A rockfall caused havoc Wednesday night and on into Thursday, creating traffic tie-ups on the region's busiest highway and prompting fears of additional slides. The rockfall took place between Banner and Ival, in the same spot as a similar slide last year. Now officials are worried that the mountain is not done moving. Our concern is that through the night there has been continued movement of rock and mud uh, from the mountain and, and, and we are also looking at significant rain possibly in the forecast. So the concern now is with that additional rain, the ground's already saturated, that the, the movement will increase even throughout tonight. After the slide, US-23 was closed to all traffic. Motorists instead had to rely on the narrow and winding Route 1426 through Prater Creek, which caused additional headaches. We rerouted traffic through the uh, 1426 route, which is Prater Creek. It's a two-lane, it's a large residential community pretty much. It didn't handle the traffic, the large trucks uh, kind of uh, made it even worse. And then tonight, uh, obviously for the uh, President Clinton um, event, we expect some heavier traffic through that, plus we may get some heavy rain. So we got a lot we're trying to plan for to try to make it the best that we can for the motors to get them through uh, without a huge delay. In trying to determine what steps to take to address the slide and assess the potential for additional movement, the Department of Highways turned to drone technology to get a view of the scene from above. Uh, abandoned mine lands, uh, one of our partners came to assist us with looking uh, trying to get a bird's eye view, as you say, of the, uh, of the slide area with the drone that they have. There appears to be mining back on that hill, but there's, at this time, there's no way to make any determination if that that's a factor. Crews continued working throughout the day in order to try to get at least one lane of the highway reopened to relieve the congestion on Prater Creek. However, officials do worry that more heavy rains could lead to the road being closed much longer. Reporting at Ival for EKB News, I'm Ralph B. Davis.